Hi, my name is Dwayne Buchanan, and over the next few minutes, what we're going to be doing is creating your online portfolio. And what you need to do is, if you have not created a Google account, you need to go ahead and do so at this time. It's very easy. Just go to google.com and begin to create uh, an account. Uh, once you have created your account, all you have to do is type in S-I-T-E-S dot Google dot com. That's right here in this upper box. Once you have done that, you'll come to a page that says Create. And all you need to do then is go ahead and click on the Create. Then it's going to ask you to name your site. Now I'm going to put a two in mine because I have already created one and we're changing it slightly from the first group that started. So they're also going to be able to watch this video as well so that they can create their new portfolio site or actually edit their portfolio site. Over the next few minutes, what you're going to be seeing is creating the different portfolio pages that you need. The basic way that you do it is you go up to New Page, and then once you've clicked New Page, type in the information, and then click Create. Once that page has created, you'll go up to Save. Once you have saved, and then start the process over again until you get each one of them done. Now there's not going to be any voice throughout the biggest part of the remainder of the video, but it will walk you through the steps of adding each page that you need in your portfolio. This is a requirement for the transfer seminar, and it is also a requirement for each student that is coming into the Ed Studies program right now. So make sure that you create your uh, portfolio. And then I'm going to go to the end when we've created the last page. And then I'm going to show you some ways to enhance it uh, for yourself. Uh, you still need to go back to the home page and add a picture of yourself and then a little bit of a bio. And I will walk you through those steps once we have all of the pages added. Uh, continue working on these pages as we uh, work through the end. Thank you.
All right, now that you have completed adding all of your pages, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the home page, and all you have to do is go up to the top of your menu and click home. Then what we're going to do is we're going to insert. And what I want you to do is find an image of yourself. Um, remember, this is your professional website, so try to make the image that you choose um, an image that you would be proud to have on your website. Once you have located one, then all you have to do is upload. Now right now it's the original size, so it's taking up way too much space. So if I go up here to large, that makes it about the right size. Now what I want to do is format this box right here. And in formatting that box, actually it's the layout, I want to go to a two column simple layout. That will create my two columns right here. Then I'm going to go back to the picture. Now I'm going to center the picture in that middle box. That way it looks uh, very nice and exactly where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to go into the second column. And what I want you to do in the second column, and I'm not going to take a lot of time to, to type a lot, uh, but I want you to do a short bio on yourself uh, and tell a little bit about your educational philosophy or uh, basically about yourself, not just your educational philosophy. Uh, but who are you? Uh, what's your family? Uh, where do you work? What are your goals in education? These are the things that I want you to put into this portion. And again, like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail there. Just I'm going to put my name for now. Um, I have some of it on my other site, but right now, uh, for time's sake, uh, you know what to put in there. And that will create your home page. Then go to save. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, add themes. Again, I cannot uh, reiterate this enough that this is your professional portfolio website. So you need to make it look as nice and crisp and clean as possible. So when you pick a theme, uh, make sure that you do it within good taste and I will leave that up to you but go over to the button that says more when you click on more go down under site actions and manage site then over on the far left hand side if you go all the way down to the bottom you will find themes this gives you a wide variety of themes that you can choose from um, and again, I'm going to leave that up to you in how you want to set up your portfolio. And then once you have picked one, click on save. and then go back to your portfolio and now you can see what it looks like. When you have completed your portfolio and let's say that you are in uh, your EDU 2000 Foundations class and your professor has told you that you have to put something into your portfolio. Well, all you need to do is go down to where it says add files and then it's going to open up your uh, computer and it's going to allow you to upload which files you need uh, to upload into your document. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a file and just upload a file into it.
So now what I've done is I've uploaded my file into it. And then when someone comes to my portfolio, all they have to do is they have the file name here. And then if they double click on it, then it will open it up for them. And then they're able to look and see what is in your portfolio. If you have any questions about any of this, my email address is dwayne dot b u c h a n a n at warner dot edu. If you get stuck and really have problems, feel free to call me at 863-528-0482. If I don't answer, leave me a message, please, and then I will get back with you as soon as possible. Good luck with creating your portfolio, and I look forward to seeing them during the transfer class. Thank you, and have a great evening.